Hi everybody, if you follow our channel, you know we are typically driving around North America in our RV showing you awesome things. But this time, we flew to Costa Rica and spent 16 nights exploring the country in January. We learned so much about Costa Rican life and have many amazing and crazy stories to share with you, like insane driving, beautiful waterfalls, and incredible wildlife. We will be releasing a series of videos to acquaint you to this wonderful jam-packed country and help you plan your own trip. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on this gem of a destination. Cano Negro is a wildlife refuge and they offer a variety of different experience options which are actually some of the more reasonably priced tours in Costa Rica. This region has only just begun to jump on the tourism bandwagon so it's still very much natural and affordable. I signed us up for the ecological boat tour which is approximately three hours long and they have pricing based on the number of people and when you book you get your own boat. Today for about $90 we get a private three hour boat tour. On the boat, we have a captain and a guide. This tour was amazing. We saw so much wildlife. The sounds of nature were buzzing with life. We saw so much, but we could hear so much more. Our guide and the captain did an excellent job of pointing things out to us and telling us all about them. They also had binoculars for us that we could use. Today, I was looking forward to seeing reptiles. Although we didn't see any crocodiles, we saw tons of caiman. These guys were everywhere. Most of them were not skittish of the boat and let us get pretty close. Caiman are basically small alligators, maxing out about six foot long. They're native to Central and South America, but they are also found in Florida, being considered an exotic species that has now an established population. I was also looking forward to iguanas. Right now, it is mating season and all the males turn bright orange to attract a female. And we saw so many males. These guys are pretty large and some of them are so long, they were nearly six feet. They look so cool and freaky looking. We only saw one female. She was pretty neat looking too, like she came from prehistoric times, but the iguanas were so awesome. Our last reptile was something I had never seen before and it was beyond awesome. It was called a basilisk and it's known as the Jesus lizard because it can run so fast it can actually run on water. We just saw them lounging though. They have these beautiful blue dots all over their bodies. The males are especially awesome because they have these cool looking crests on the top. I loved seeing them because they're bright green and they really stand out. I enjoy seeing birds, but they aren't a huge interest to me. Costa Rica is an exceptional place for birders to visit. There are so many species native to Central and South America found here, and we got to see so many. One of my favorites was the wood stork. You can find these in Florida, but they are a super large wetland bird, and we got to see a colony of them flying. It was pretty special. We saw lots of types of kingfishers, and one bird that we saw is a prized find for birders due to its elusive behavior called the agami heron. It's very colorful and a rare bird to see. If you are interested in the birds, the Wildlife Refuge offers a separate birding tour you can take. One exciting part of the boat ride was when we came across this group of spider monkeys. One of the great things about this tour is they let us be in control. They kept the boat with the monkeys for as long as we wanted. We sat watching the spider monkeys for about five whole minutes. They were incredibly active, always moving and swinging in the trees, and they were incredibly difficult to film too because they really sat still and stayed mostly within the canopy. Spider monkeys are neat because their arms and legs and tail are all super long. When we volunteered at the Primate Sanctuary in Florida, they told us to stay four feet away from their enclosure because they can actually reach that far. The best part of the boat tour for me were the howler monkeys. Howlers are my favorite. They didn't like the sounds of the boat, so every time a boat would go past them, they would start howling. Their howl is so loud and you can actually hear it from five miles away. It sounds a little like a dog barking. We stopped and watched them in the trees. They don't move around as much like the spider monkeys do and it was fairly easy to film them. While we were watching and admiring, we started to hear howling sounds behind us and on the other side of the river. Another troop had moved in and we were sitting right in the middle of the river with a troop of howler monkeys on both sides of us. It was amazing. We had no idea where to look because there were just monkeys everywhere and they
they were howling at each other and it was just so awesome. We got to see the big male monkeys sit on the branches and look down at us and howl and we watched these monkeys for about 10 whole minutes. The favorite monkey of all though came at the end when we were walking back to our car. The monkey started howling up in the tree and we looked up and it was watching us. I quick got my camera out and caught him looking right at me. It was beyond. This boat tour was by far the most awesome experience. I loved every minute of it and loved all the wildlife we saw. If you go to Costa Rica, this would be the number one thing I would recommend you to do.